Now let's talk about the artboards tool and briefly about artboards themselves because it will be pretty much impossible to understand the tool without at least the basic knowledge of the artboards. So artboards were introduced in Illustrator CS5 and frankly, I can't even remember what it was like working without them. Now their main function is to show you which parts of your artwork will get printed. Everything that falls outside the artboard won't get printed or won't get saved if you want to save your artwork for web. So when you're creating a new document, you can specify how many artboards you want. You can specify what their positioning and distance between them should be. Now the size you input here is basically determining the size of the artboard. So let's move on to the artboard tool now. It sits right here in the tools panel and has a default shortcut of the Shift plus O key combination. And as soon as we make the tool active, two things happen. The control panel changes to give us the artboard options and the region outside the artboard fades so we can focus on the artboard a bit better. So what can we do with the artboard using the artboard tool? We can of course move it around. And notice that we can either move the artwork along with the artboard if we select this option right here in the control panel. We can scale the artboard just like any other object, but we can't rotate it. We can also clone an artboard with its contents by Alt Option dragging it like so. Now with the artboard tool we can also create new artboards simply by clicking and dragging outside the existing artboard. But we can create artboards within artboards if we wish so. All we have to do is to click and drag within an existing artboard while holding down the shift key. By the way, if you want to control the number of your artboards and keep them organized, use the artboards panel. And if you don't have it up, just go to the window menu, artboards. In here you will see a list of all the artboards in the document. You can rename them by double clicking on the artboard's name. You can center on a specific artboard by double clicking next to its name. You can change their order in the panel. And you can reorganize them. So this is how you can work with the artboard tool and the artboard panel. The most important thing to remember here is that everything that is inside the artboard will get printed and anything outside will not. And you can freely create artboards with the artboard tool and you can reorganize them with it. In the next video we will talk about the artboard options, so don't go away.